we were telling the truth, he wouldn't have told us. Unless, of course, he knew you wouldn't believe the truth, even if he told us. Hello, world. The Autistic Christian here, and this is the Parable of the Doom Part 2. I remember reading the first book when I was only 16. It was recommended to me by a married Christian woman that I had met at a church retreat in Arkansas right after I had turned a new leaf and rededicated my life to being an obedient child of God. Then the Jezebel spirit entered into my life. What started out as innocent affection quickly turned into something twisted and demonic, just like the movie Dune Part 2. Dune is a gross perversion of the truth, but at the same time, reveals some very profound patterns I would like to share with the world. This movie is yet another example of the blind leading the blind. But before we unpack the parable, let's meet the characters. 1. Paul Atreides, the Mahdi, the Muslim Messiah, aka the Antichrist, according to Revelation in the Bible, he will be a strong military leader that brings world peace and performs signs and wonders. 2. The Mother the Roman Papacy, the mother of harlots. Revelation chapter 17, Mystery Babylon. She controls with fear and operates in the shadows. 3. Stilgar, the entire Islam religion, the disciplined but misinformed followers of God that unalive followers of Jesus thinking that they are doing the will of God. 4. Chani, the unbeliever, the self-made gods, atheists that think Jesus is a joke because of the mockery that has been made of it by the devil through the Roman Catholic Church and the Islamic Jihad. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's dive into the parable while I read a few highlights out of the Acts of Pontius Pilate. It's time to unplug from the Matrix. Firstly, that thou was born of fornication. Secondly, that thy birth in Bethlehem was the cause of the slaying of children. Thirdly, that thy father Joseph and thy mother Mary fled into Egypt because they had no confidence before the people. This your saying is not true, for there were espousals, as these also say which are of your nation. Annas and Caiaphas say unto Pilate, These twelve men are believed which say that he was not born of fornication, but the whole multitude of us cry out that he was born of fornication, and is a sorcerer, and saith that he is the son of God and a king, and we are not believed. In this opening scene, we see three things. Paul is called a spy, a witch, and also the Mahdi. The Mahdi is the Muslim Messiah, and he will be a great military leader that arises and brings world peace. Jesus was called a sorcerer. It was not that the Jews did not believe his miracles. According to Rabbi Akiba in the Arco volume, it states that the Jews attributed the miracles of Jesus to the art of necromancy that he had learned in Egypt. All this buildup here is to pervert the actual divinity of Christ and what he had already done for us. All this is showing us is the way in which the Mahdi will rise and fulfill the prophecy as the Antichrist in the Bible. But let's move on to the next scene. When I watched this scene, all I could think of was when Paul stood before King Agrippa in Acts. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come, that Christ should suffer, and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead, and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Demadike, Vandraha. Much learning doth make thee mad. Still God, But he said, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness, for the king knoweth of these things, before whom also I speak freely, for I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day were both almost and altogether such as I am, except these bonds. 
Acts 26, 22 through 29. But to follow the parable, we see the Muslim standing before the world in order to push the Mahdi, the mother of harlots, the Abrahamic Accords, a one world order, a one world religion. These things are coming and it will be perpetrated by the Muslims and the papacy. And so the alliance is made. <laughs> Look how your Bene Gesserit propaganda is taking root. Some of them already think I'm their messiah. Others, false prophet. I must sway the non-believers. If they follow me, we can disrupt spice production. That's the only way I can get to the Emperor. Your father didn't believe in revenge? Hell, I do. What's happening? Vaiso mesolexit. There's spice in the food. How would you know what they eat? To walk home. My show what team was Mr. Woman, come with me. It jumps. Tell me this water. When we have enough water, the least another guy change. The face of Arrakis, he will bring back the trees, he will bring back a green paradise. Why are you showing me this? Because you are Bene Gesserit, because you understand the prophecies. The mother of the Lys and Al Gaib will be a reverend mother. Our reverend mother is dying. You want me to take her place? Yes, I do. You believe in Paul? There are signs. Yes. What if I would refuse? Then he's not listening to you, and you have no purpose to serve. What else is left to do then? I think you should feel honored. Well, it was a choice between this or death, so you're afraid. The Reverend Mothers are tasked with holding the memories of all the Reverend Mothers that came before them, so I'll be given centuries of pain and sorrow. Is it dangerous? It's lethal for men. That's for sure. Okay, let's get one thing straight. Women, on average, can handle pain much better than men. On average. This does not mean the strongest woman can handle pain better than the strongest man. We are simply addressing averages, and yet the divine feminine likes to plant these thoughts into your head. Women, I was teen women most of my life, so don't let it get to your heads. Men, don't let this type of programming weaken you. Now, on to the unbelievers and the self-made gods. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? Don't bother. You don't believe in all this? No, we don't. These are all Southern beliefs. Southern beliefs? Southern tribes believe that Messiah will come to deliver us from evil. So you don't believe in the Lusan al -Gayu. We believe in Fremen. Bilal Kaifa. You want to control people? You tell them a Messiah will come. Then they'll wait for centuries. No. We must pray. What about him? Stogar? Mm -hmm. He's from the south. You didn't notice his accent. <laughs> <laughs> What'll happen to my mother? <laughs> These are the same kinds of things you see on TikTok when it comes to invalidating my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Sure, you can invalidate religion and all the doctrines of men but the moment that you try and confuse chocolate with poop and misspeak regarding the word of god bet i will rip heads off with the quickness whether you're a fellow brother or a sister in christ or a child of the devil i do not put up with self-righteousness Now, all this crap goes without saying, but all this hocus pocus buffoonery going on right here is exactly what happens behind closed doors within the Roman Catholic Papacy. If you haven't realized the Roman Catholic Church is the mother of harlots yet, the writer of Dune sure did. <laughs> That's right, Harley. What have you done? This is like Samaramis, Nimrod, and Tammuz, man. It's just a weird, twisted. Ugh. Now, 
this is my favorite part of the parable. The misguided Muslim followers that actually buy into Paul's scheme of just wanting to be one of them. She's right. She's right. It's no miracle. My mother was trained to do that. Poison transmutation is something advanced Bene Gesserit can do. I'm not the Mahdi. Nezi Hajega. Giftak. Let me fight beside you. That's all I'm asking. This is a gross perversion of Emmanuel, God with us. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, Isaiah 7, 14. And for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice for henceforth, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this, Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. And lastly, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid him in the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53, 2-6 Clearly, Paul fits none of these prophecies and only lines up to a grossly perverted and twisted interpretation of the Holy Word of God. You're right. If we want to protect your brother, we need all the Fremen to believe in the prophecy. We must convert the non-believers one by one. We need to start with the weaker ones, the vulnerable ones, the ones who fear us. By retelling the greatest story ever told in a way that itching ears will flock to. So far, Dune 2 has grossed over 700 million worldwide. These movies are polluting the minds of the NPCs of this world, non-playable characters. And I'm just waking them up to the things they are completely oblivious to. Take it for what it is, but if you've watched to this point, I want to thank you for your attention and truly hope this has opened your eyes to the things you are not yet aware of regarding the Word of God. I'd like to close with this. Movies are great. Parables are great. But if you let the devil keep you distracted from the truth with your very short time on this earth, you will have eternity to weep and gnash your teeth about it. If you've joined our lives with Chosen, then you've heard me say this a million times. But if you haven't already, download the YouVersion Bible app, Y-O-U Version Bible app, and start listening to it whenever you get in the shower. Start small, but be consistent. Jesus meets us where we are, but he never leaves us there. May the Lord Jesus bring you one step closer to the truth. Thanks for watching The Autistic Christian Out. Listen carefully. Soon a man is going to visit your temple and he may want you to perform the rites. Reverend Mother, it is forbidden. Let him try! Let him try! If he were telling the truth, he wouldn't have told us. Unless of course he knew you wouldn't believe the truth, even if he told us.